previously on The Block. Amy and I went to the Goodwill outlet in Conover, North Carolina, and we couldn't help but check out the retail store after. We showed off what we got at the bins, but our time was cut short before we could share the second half of our hauls. See what we found in this massive pile of clothes right now. So that was all the stuff that we got in the bins, and then against our better judgment, we went to the Goodwill retail store, which we said we were just going to look and just buy housewares. I told our judgment to take a hiya, but it was good that we went there because oh, yeah. we found so much stuff. The first thing I got at the retail store is this top. It's like a little off shoulder. It has the original tags. It was from Lomans and it was $22.99. Compare at $38. Lomans must be a discount store. I got this sweater with a, what is cheetah? this? Cheetah? Mountain lion? I don't know. Lucky. It looks like it could be from like Forever 21 circa yesterday, but honest to God, it is not. I was shocked. It is by the brand Private Eyes, and you know it's old because it's made in America. Uh -huh. Private, Private Eyes. Private I'm watching you. I got this still in the box. Ice bucket cups and a tray. Tongs. And tongs. It was $8, which was kind of steep. Amy had some customer told her this really good idea about ice buckets that you can use them as planters. Yeah. Because like... People don't really use ice buckets that much, but people love planters. And remove the handle and voila. Or even you could just put it like that. Like metal. It's called a party serving set. Maybe we got this long sleeve denim <laughs> shirt with this embroidery and pearl inlay. Boy, oy, oy. This is just a sweatshirt with some birds and I'm going to crop it. Well, again. Or maybe I shouldn't. People it's love like a pretty good oversized pride. I know I was thinking of that <laughs> when I looked at it. I was like, does anyone who's watching this know why we said pride? Like, uh, Cardinal is the state bird of North Carolina. And gray squirrel is the state too, mammal. Yeah. There's I don't know. I just, mammal? or wait, maybe that's South Carolina from the um, placemat at the state beverage. The pancake house. Yeah, what's it called? <laughs> oh my How God. do we not remember this? All I can think of. Dino's. What Dino's? Ponzer House? No. Ponzer? Ponzer? No. Where's that? I don't know. I never heard of that. So quiet. It'll come to us. Yeah, I was excited about this. You. Brand is Red Camel. <laughs> This is a cardigan, it's like kind of a chunky. Very fall. Very fall. <laughs> this is a purse. Oh, this purse had something cool in it. Oh, well also not this, but I bought this also. <laughs> you love these. I know. It has googly eyes. What does that one say? Good morning, how are we today? <laughs> Get well soon. Like, it's not focusing. Hiding something behind her back. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what is that? It looks like a bicycle seat. Or a toilet. Oh, bowl. maybe it's a bedpan? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but this purse had a check in it from Sherman's Janitorial Service. Well, she tried to change it from $20 to $30. But, anyways, the check's from 1975, April 5th. It almost Ooh. looks like it says Auntie Mass. <laughs> Someone signed it on the back, but with just. Oh, Anthony Moss. That's must Not be what cursive. it says. How can you believe? Well, I wonder how much I gave him. 20, 30, or it looks like he might have also tried to change it to 50. See? It looks like it was changed after it was washed. Anthony, you have some explaining to do. <laughs> but this purse was cute, and it's obviously from the 70s or before, and someone actually in our store had a purse just like this. It was the sold. first thing we ever sold, and then she made a comment on there that said, my COVID impulse buy. And I was like, yeah, because we had it on our Instagram sale when we couldn't open. I'm like, when we were so I fresh know. and young. Right? Now we're in March. Four months. <laughs> I got this Liz Claiborne. It's like a Western theme. It's pretty awesome. There's like cowboys jumping over fences. This is a really cool blouse. It's not buttoned up. My bad to show its amazingness. But that store was so clean. It was like, it's like perfume. One of the cleanest Goodwills I've ever been to. This is probably a mistake to buy for $3. Some kind of cow decals you can put on the wall. 
That's what they look like and that's what they look like on your wall. And then I also got this little denim clutch bag because it was cute. I would buy those to just stick all over the bathroom wall. God, didn't Katie buy like a shirt from the pancake place? It's gonna come to us. I feel like it's cheating if we text Ask. someone. Got this mud uh, turtleneck sweater. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, so great. Mud is like the most quintessential yeah. high school or my high school brand. Yeah. Oh, this is a good shirt. It has like- Hot stacks? No, it was like a Stacks? word that meant, that meant- Haskins! No, that no, was, that was across the, the street. Uh, it has poker <laughs> stuff on it. Blackjack, cards, more cards. That might be something I would like to keep too. Like, what's, my style is really evolving. <laughs> I know, mine is too. Oh. Questionable direction. Questionable. Yeah. Wow. These are from Lulu's, so they're not old, but the clear shoes are- Trending the red isn't the best color, but yeah, they look like they've been never, they've never worn, been worn and They were only four dollars bullseye all the shoes. They were four dollars. I thought it was pretty good So excited about this hoodie It says Paso Fino, which is a type of horse, but I was like you gotta be kidding me. It's so cool This is another great Western shirt See, like, I'm thinking maybe I should buy this from you. <laughs> oh, wow. So style. your style's evolving into Garth Brooks from 1990. I'd say that's accurate. Yeah. No, <laughs> size small. I would wear this. Probably fit you perfectly. <laughs> that is a small that was definitely made for yeah. a real rodeo cowboy. Yeah, it's a men's, though. Got this real cottage core sweater here. Very cottage core. Oh, I just noticed it has a hole in the armpit. Another repair. But yeah. That is cute. Yeah, it's real cute. This is cottage porish. It's just like a Fancy little Lord blouse. Yeah, I think it's handmade actually. It's pretty thin. Yeah, that's crush. This is a very wildly patterned thick t-shirt. Ooh, that's very cool. Thick. I fabric. like those colors. Yeah. I got this Christmas tree tray. Two dollars. That was cool. Oh, it's from it's signed. Angie oh, from so 81. Cute. Angie, if you're listening, comment below. We love your tray. <laughs> Good craftsmanship, by the way. This is another plaid short sleeve shirt. It's really thin and cute. Oh, Way too small thin. for me. It's really cute, yeah. I got this sweatshirt. It's like bedazzled. It's It's got like these like studs all over it. And there's like, it's like horses and hearts. That sounds like a fun theme for a party. It's pretty cool. This is a blouse with also horses on it. Maybe it was donated oh, wow. by this. Well, no, this looks older. Tons. But that's really vintage and seventies ish. And then it also came with this scarf, which has the same print. This Western shirt that says shoot one on the tag. It's super cute. It has got blue flowers. It's got a Oh my god, I don't know yes. why it just hit me. I told you it would. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to imagine the sign. Golden Griddle. We used to go to the Golden Griddle yeah. in North Myrtle Beach all the time because my dad had a condo there and they don't have it anymore. And we'd always go to the Golden Griddle and it was so fun. I feel like I just orgasmed that you said that. I know. <laughs> That's not what SLS. I was thinking the name was going to be. Not at like, all. Sorry. Now we can <sighs> commence. Back to the shirts. See the stain. <laughs> We're hoping it'll come out. This is a denim shirt with some little red flowers embroidered on the bottom. I got this shirt with a teddy bear reading the Holy Bible, which is ridiculous because bears can't read, but Mary told me to crop it, so I'll probably do so. Yeah. This is a hula lady like I had on my car in high school. You did? Briefly. Huh. This is pretty, and this is like very of the Victorian trend. Oh wow. It has a nice collar with a bow, pleats everywhere. That's something else. And it's else. navy. Pleats on the back. Pleats on the back. Come correct. Almost last but not least. You're almost last but not least? I thought a whole bag. Oh. Well, Why I did spend $90? Like Seersucker pattern top. No, no. Beep. But it's like a it's like a blazer almost. Yeah, it's like a short sleeve blazer. But then it has this thing at the bottom. 
you know, like a banding at the bottom. I can definitely see my babysitter dot wearing that. Like, this is like a blazer plaid, reminded me of Clueless a lot. It's kind of cropped. This is a Appalachian State University Bebe sweatshirt. <laughs> I think I best give it to my friend who went there who has a Bebe. It's like for an eight year old. An eight year old? Mm, five year old? Five. It's a small. Is I don't know. I mean? feel like. Maybe I'm not gonna give this to my friend because her baby's like not even a year. Yeah. It's gonna Which be a lot. Definitely not gonna fit her. This yeah. is a That's so cool. patterned button down. What even is this pattern? Jumanji. Yeah, it's like leopard. Palm. It's like Banana Republic. Kind of reminds me of like an Asian island. Yeah, there's like a cougar. It's oh yeah, look at this tag. It's called Kenya Club. I feel like you can wait, I think I bought that. Yeah, I know. I'm like, how did this get in here? <laughs> I just had this flashback. This wait, Kenya Club sounds familiar. She this is Amy's. This is her part. I'll probably keep this. This is an Auburn sweatshirt. This is um a shirt with like some paint. Puffy paint. I was gonna crop it. Nice. Well, I think it's like puffy paint like that. Can you just Came do back. little dots? This is a notations blouse with a pattern. Stunning. So that's all we got then, right? Why is there so much dust everywhere all the time? Can somebody make like it? a dust sucker? A vacuum? <laughs> all right, so that is all we got. What did you think? Did you like anything? Did you hate it all? Do you think we got good deals? Do you think people will buy it? Do you think we're gonna just die in an avalanche of clothes in our house? <laughs> if you haven't unsubscribed yet, click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time we make a video so you never miss a thing. And we love you. We hope you have a great week and we will see you soon. Where should we go on our next adventure?